another Garfield. But yeah, that's a good win from uh from Bean. So Beanery will be moving on to play against Fint or Pasta. I mean, not nothing. We're not that far in bracket yet. Um, and uh, Gage made it really easy because I can just simply uh swap a couple things. Losers finals. Hostage. Yeah, I really appreciate Gage. It's, it's been awesome to like have enough. Like this is it's really fun when new players join because like you get to like get to give them advice and like just talk to them and like get a feel for like what characters they really enjoy and like other interests. And it's just it's very fun, very fun social experience. Just hanging people, hanging out with people and meeting new gamers to assimilate into our gamer hive mind. But, um, yeah, we're here. Losers Finals. Pasta versus, uh, Biniri. And another, the same matchup as before. But a different, uh, man reigning the controls of the fat cat himself. So, yeah, get your votes in if you're willing to... Throw some coin, and here we go. Yeah. We're gonna have to bat those pies. But in response, we've got these nares and bears. Oh, looking for that grab. We already know. And uh, the main thing that I like with pastas, uh, dares too, that we're seeing, that, like the one he's thrown out so far, is that the dare he threw, he definitely crossed up really hard, so it wasn't just an easy grab punish. And now that time when he gets it on hit, he's just not drifting, he's just kind of hanging out. Yeah. Alright, nothing too much off of that. Gets a dash tag jab into the dash tag down strong. Tries to go for the dare. Maybe a little zealous. Or overzealous. There we go. That time chooses not to cross up, but kind of crosses up from overhead. So it's like, it doesn't really like look visually too much like a cross up, but he did swap positions just above his head. Nice little nice here. A little two tap. Oh! Reflects it without bear strong. That was funny. Uh oh. Okay, you do get you do come back from that. And gets the down strong. Nice. Very good. Nice little up tilt for your trouble. Hold in there for your trouble. Hold the nation. Or dare nation. Doesn't get the gold block and it because of that, doesn't get the punish. That's the importance of gold blocking, folks. And I honestly think um, it's one of like the lesser developed skills. I, I forget who was talking about this, but maybe it was Scooter. And I, I swear it might have been. It was during my time at Combo Breaker. Somebody was talking about this. Was that like gold blocking is something that's underdeveloped overall in the scene? And when you do develop it, it turns some matchups uh, into something that is far less maybe a pain or troublesome for you so if you have a matchup that's like really rough maybe because of the amount of damage or something like that it's possible that uh double stalking is something that can actually really help uh fix that matchup because just when you when you are that double stalking gold blocking i'm sure like falling over my words but um and the reason why is obviously because like with gold blocking you just take much less damage on block because in this game, obviously, there's, like, chip damage and all that. And, like, whether you like it or not, that was good. The hurt box, uh, hit lag. Keeping it out there. Night, just don't lose this stock, Pasta. Do not up -be. That Garf recovery is what gets you mixed up when you're falling off stage. Yeah. It's, it's kind of challenging. Like, without... It's challenging to, like, not mess up and honestly that's the main reason i don't play garfield <laughs> i like all of his buttons except for up i think he's really fun i think his jab is really good i think his ledge pressure is insane i like his items i, I like everything except his recovery although i honestly play reptar now so it's like and i also had recovery issues so it's like what else is new
Like, I'm doing the same thing I said I didn't like them. Come to the dark side? Oh, God. Honestly, I'll sh I'm sure I'll get there eventually. I, 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 uh, I never thought I'd be playing Reptar, to be honest. Uh, he'll show me the way. <laughs> yeah. As long as you don't show me how to mess up my beer versus, I think I'll be good. I believe in you. <laughs> oh, good fun. But here we go on the sewers. Interesting. And I like the pick. You don't really get to see this too often. Um, but. And there it is. Good grab. It's definitely something that you can you can, like, can forget about. Because, like, I will say this. I used to play um, versus uh, Bean a lot. And uh, I kind of, like, figured out the matchup. Not figured it out, but, like, I had, like, a decent understanding of it with, like, grabbing the, when to grab the bike and, like, everything. And had some developed pretty good advantage states and, like, reversals of like the tools pretty well and all of a sudden i think bean took a break and then i took a break for a little bit and all of a sudden we both come back and we came back at different times like bean came back first grinded it is he's back there chilling look at him go and uh i come back and bean is just significantly better than me i'm like well what's the deal and a lot of it's because I realize I'm, I'm literally just not dealing with, um, bike properly. Because I'm literally just not grabbing it. I'm not stronging it. I'm just, like, letting it hit my shield. Hitting me on block. Or I'm just avoiding it incorrectly. incorrectly. And, um, hey, it happens, but it is the season for uh, improvement, right? Summer grind time. Nice little down strong. Nice. Yeah, Pasta is doing really well right now. Honestly, it would be pretty crazy for, um... Bean to come back and win this set. Solely because, like... Dude's been on a tear. And so for him to continue being on a tear in tournaments, and especially a bracket like this where there's a bit more, like... You think it got to go? Oh, you think you have to go? Winners of this goes to Grands? Oh my god. This, that's crazy. GG's, oh my god. Say it so... Oh, so, Pasta might be going to grunts. Well, I hope everything's okay, Flint. I know no, it's not. it doesn't always have to be like some sort of like crazy bad thing or like some big deal when somebody has to leave early. Sometimes it can just be like, oh, I had plans tonight and whoops, I uh, went way over my stay of how long this bracket could take. But at the, on the off chance, it's not something that's good. Um, hope you're doing right. It should be best of five. Wait, why is it best of three? What the hell? Hold on. Oh my god, it, why did it... Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Don't move, Pasta. Moderate. Uh, edit. Add game. Actually, hold on. Let me just reset it. It should be best of five. I have no clue how that happened. That's insane. Score was 2-0 currently for Pasta. 
save progress. There we go. Alright, you should be good to go now. Well, that's aggravating. Why was it just that round? Alright, yeah, so you guys should be playing again. That's so- that's really bizarre. Yeah, that's... that was weird. But it looks like we're gonna be seeing a character swap to, uh, the Patrick. By Bean. And probably it kinda feels like a like a, a throw. But I mean it also could just be like one of those things where it's like um Bean's like, yeah, I was feeling today. I mean it's also like it's not like this event matters for anything. It's not a PR tournament, it's just for like kinda fucking around or like practicing if you're like you don't want any stakes or whatnot. Or practicing secondaries. So, it doesn't really matter what happens. That's kind of something that you always should have in the back of your head if, like, you're trying to improve and, like, you're, like, newer to competition is, like, even in tournaments and the taunt to get the first stock, that's pretty rough. Well, I guess the thing that kind of matters in competition is, like, not to set expectations for yourself early on. You should just worry about having fun and worrying about, like, hey, am I, like, improving? Am I doing what I set to do? And what Bean did, right, he got that, uh, that edge guard with the, uh, no oh god. Okay, he loves that. That snare. He tries to get a snare of his own. Asa does, but does not. Nice little strong there. Finally taking it off, though. And it's hard to do against Patrick, because the man is heavy as heck. Oh, and the SD from Pasta, unfortunate. I mean, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't like a zero percent or anything crazy or a low percent SD. It was just one where it's like, eh, couldn't get back to stage. Can't really think about too much. Nice little pie. Wasn't ready for it though, so I didn't get any punishment off of it. Just the damage itself. Nice little snare. Staying right underneath Pasta on his landings. Getting a decent chunk of damage out of that and the yellow block. Oh. Oh. Oh, it doesn't even get the, uh... There you go. I, uh, I don't think he does, Crumpton. I think, um... I think it's... I think it was just, like, one of those, like, Oh, I'm just gonna do it. And it seems like all tournament, specifically Bean... Oh, no. Bean has been uh, playing a lot of Patrick. I know him and Fig earlier in bracket played literally like two Patrick dittos. And so, I don't know, they just, they just, they decided and so they shall, you know? I do find it funny. Cause it's like Patrick, everybody's got Patrick, everybody's got that funny monster hanging out in their back pocket. Um, it's always funny, and it's always entertaining, I should say. He's just a fun character to watch, in my opinion. Even if it's, like, repetitive, I think that's what makes it fun. Because it's, like, just a goofy little character. It's like, how could you not have fun playing as Patrick or watching it? Because it's just, it's Patrick. Like, come on. 
If you get angry at Patrick, you're thinking too much about the game. Morton is the uh, stage we're going to be uh, going to. But yeah, I mean, the counter pick worked out for him, so I'm not even going to, like, you can't even knock it, right? It got the job done. Granted, there were a couple mistakes here, there, SDs, that kind of hurt him, you know? Funny little mix up there. Yeah. That's a rough SC. Oh! Okay, he has his jump. I was gonna say, that's insanity. Oh, this is nuts. That's like. Oh god, it's still going. That was a hundred percent. That was a one hundred percent. Oh god. Um, advantage state. Oh no! And it didn't matter. A clean slate. Shades of bowling tendies. The EX hug driver. Now the best Patrick NA. Yeah, I don't know who the current best Patrick is even considered. Yet. Probably like Lunchy Deer. But he's not necessarily very he hasn't really been active in the past couple months. Yeah, pro honestly, probably would be in the area. And honestly, it's kinda fitting. Like they both got that 360 input. Um, they both have some decent fire strings. Just for completely different reasons. Oh, nice. Use that. This might be over. Tournament stock here for Beniri. Nice yellow block there. And there it is. Pasta takes it into grand finals for, uh... Yeah, I don't know if Pasta knew that, but I know it says Losers Finals, but, or, yeah, that was Losers Finals, my bad. I guess I had it right. Um, mainly because Flint has to uh, DQ. <laughs> and 